ಬಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಮನೋಹ ಬಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರೋವಸಿಂಧುಬ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿಂಗ ಪಾವನೆಬ್ಬ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಜಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈಕೋಕ್ಷಿದೈಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವಧ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಜ್ಜೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಧರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಜನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲಭವಾತ್ಕೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣ ಹರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿತೀತುಕಮಪುರಗವಧುಷಾದರ್ಶಿಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕ್ಯಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಹತ್ಯೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಹತ್ಯೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಪುತಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲ ಹಿತಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕರು ಕರುಣಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯನುರೂಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಷೀತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದ ಪಾರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಗ ಭಜವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತೀದ ಸಂವಿ ಸಿಂಗ ಮಹಂ ಭಜ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕಾ 
कामं क्रोधं भयं स्नेहं ऐक्यं सौहृदमेव च नित्यं हरो विदधतो यान्ति तन्मयताम हिते कामं क्रोधं भयं स्नेहं ऐक्यं सौहृदमेव च नित्यं हरो विदधतो यान्ति तन्मयताम हिते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभु पाठ टोल्ड परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट चैतन्य महाप्रभु क्या वस्तु है व्हाट इज चैतन्य महाप्रभु एक्चुअली इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी हैव टू जस्ट क्विट ऑल काइंड ऑफ असत्संग एंड दुसंग दैट इज द मेन पॉइंट शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट चैतन्य गौरंग महाप्रभु हु इज दैट पर्सनैलिटी इन ऑर्डर टू नो दैट वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ यू आर ऑल काइंड ऑफ असत संग एंड दुसंग यू हैव टू क्विट यू हैव टू लीव दैट all you need to have to quit that that is very important all kind of asat sang the then it is very difficult to understand chaitanya mahaprabhu what is that supreme object who is the supreme object those who are chaitanya vimukh bhakti no thakur in kirtan actually writing about this point that gorang mahaprabhu those who are actually against those who are actually against gorang mahaprabhu that all my father mother father sisters and all my relatives actually i will just quit them i'll just leave them those actually those persons who are actually against gorang mahaprabhu and they are all our own relatives material relatives mother father everyone whether child also all my relatives also even them also i have to leave everyone if they are against gorang mahaprabhu how we can understand they are uh, against chaitanya mahaprabhu that uh, how we can understand this maharaj that they are actually uh, uh, because they have all this tilak mala and they are actually doing uh, the work of acharya and they are in the vesh of sanyasi as well so how we can understand this point that they are actually against chaitanya mahaprabhu that if someone ask us about this point then how we can just then prabhupad speaking that be careful about this point that those who are actually chaitanya vimukh they are actually uh, against uh, against the against the siddhant vichar and acharan of pure guru vaishnav they are always against them just be sure about that i have always uh, practically i have always practically seen this point that's why i am speaking in front of you he is a very big uh, devotee but actually he don't know uh, about anything about uh, uh, pure guru vaishnav and when actually some pure guru vaishnav some siddhant vichar comes then he actually just becomes uh, full of anxiety and uh, angriness inside him he is actually not uh, picking up the other other shastran and siddhant vichar of pure guru vaishnav they are actually going against them and when they will go against them then definitely you can understand that because he will not uh, uh, have the patience to get the siddhant which are pure guru vishnu then only we can understand that he is against the activities of gorang mahaprabhu because whatever they actually externally they have the lakmala and just taking red cloth sanyas vesh they are actually showing themselves externally that they are uh, devotees but they are actually against gorang mahaprabhu mahaprabhu even if my whosoever is there my mother father child my wife everyone if they are against the activities of gorang mahaprabhu other shastran of gorang mahaprabhu then then we have to leave their sang of this there is no doubt about that because if those if we are doing actually sang of that uh, person who is against chaitanya mahaprabhu 
एक्चुअली ही इज़ आवर फादर मदर नो सो ही इज़ आर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ वर्शिप ओनली बट वी हैव टू लीव दैम इफ वी विल नॉट लीव दैम देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड देन योर हरी भजन इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल एट ऑल बिकॉज इन गौड़िया विचार इट इज़ रिटर्न दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट प्रसंग दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट इज दैट टू लीव टू लीव असत्संग एंड टू जस्ट टेक द आचरण ऑफ वैष्णवास जस्ट बी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस पॉइंट जस्ट वॉट इज द आचरण ऑफ ऑल द वैष्णव एक्चुअली वैष्णव आचरण इज हरी भक्ति ओन वॉट इज द आचरण इफ सम आस सम आचरण ऑफ अ वैष्णव आचरण मीन्स दैट हरी सेवा देर एटीट्यूड हरी सेवा दैट इज कॉल आचरण ऑफ वैष्णव दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट आचरण बिकॉज वाई बिकॉज इफ वी आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग प्रेमा ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्णा एंड गेटिंग प्रेमा ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव भगवान देन डेफिनेटली वी विल नॉट गेट आर सेल इंडल्ज इन असत्संग वी विल नॉट गेट अटैच विद असत्संग दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दैट वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग प्रेम प्रेम ऑन लोटस फिट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव एंड भगवान ओके सम सत्संग इज ऑल्सो देयर दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दिस इज एक्चुअली टोटली रॉन्ग इफ यू आर डूइंग टू डू टू डू सत्संग मीन्स टू जस्ट लीव अ सत्संग दैट प्रभुपाद हैज ऑलरेडी कन्फर्म दिस पॉइंट the prabhupad speaking actually if you are doing satsang 100% satsang will he leave that uh, both satsang and satsang will not go uh, uh, not go in one line it is absurd that is not possible so in gaudiya bhajan our all our uh, all our vaishnav brind actually not in Vaish- uh, in gaudiya bhajan but all the four sampradas they are also uh, those also who are actually paramahans they are actually not doing a satsang at all they don't do a satsang at all and uh, they are actually just uh, thinking that all all we have to leave all of our mother father brother everyone who are doing a satsang we have to leave them those persons who are actually against chaitanya mahaprabhu that we have to just leave their sang we have to just leave their association prabhupad actually speaking externally you can see that that externally they are our own persons but internally they are against gorang mahaprabhu their activities are against gorang mahaprabhu whether they are externally ours but still we have to leave their association chaitanya vimukh totally all kind of sang we have to just leave that which is up going against gorang mahaprabhu sadar shachran and atkc that is all do sang we have to just leave that it they are just like insects prabhupad speaking inside a inside our stomach what uh, different kind of insects are there worms are there inside our uh, stomach they actually just used to when we used to take food inside of when the food just goes inside the stomach and uh, they just those insects just used to take the vitals of that food all the nutrients it is just like uh, worms which are just eating the nutrients uh, what we are eating in our stomach and whenever they are there inside our stomach then whatever you are just taking it is actually taking all the vitamins of our atma and minerals of our atma all the vitals they just uh, eat up eat it up atma ka jo pushti dayak atma ka jo pushti the actual nutrients of the atma they all the vitals of the atma these kind of insects just eat up jo kuch bhi khao whatever they just taking it uh, there should be some uh, tushti pushti for 100% because atma actually atma aur sharir ka because But why how can we get the nourishment for our atma how can you nourish your body of of your atma because uh, everything we are eating those all insects and worms are taking everything no 
एक्सटर्नली आवर बॉडी कैन गेट नरिस्ट बट इंटरनल दैट आत्मा ऑल्सो हैज अ स्वरूप हैज इज ओन बॉडी एटरनल बॉडी सो हाउ इट कैन गेट नरिस्ट प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक अ लॉट अबाउट दिस पॉइंट दैट दू संग वी हैव टू जस्ट गेट रेड ऑफ दैट वी हैव टू लीव दैट एंड वी हैव टू जस्ट थिंक ऑफ दैट आत्मंगल of a jiva of our ourselves but atmamangal is not possible when dushang is there you have to you just want to activate your dushang also uh, and in the and you just want to activate your dushang and whatever you are doing for your atmamangal you will not get there will no question of atmamangal actually you will not get atmamangal at all because you want to activate your um, दुसंग असत्संग यू वॉन्ट टू मेंटेन युअर असत्संग सो इन दैट वॉट विल हैपन टू मेंटेन युअर दुसंग वॉट्स एवर यू आर जस्ट डूइंग फॉर युअर आत्मंगल एवरीथिंग विल गो इन वेन एवरीथिंग इज रबिश सो वॉट विल हैपन एंड एक्चुअल आत्मंगल विल नॉट at all happen it will not arise at all there is no question of getting arise kuch question hi nahi aa there is no question of atma mangal uh, and in reverse what will happen maharaj that kanak kamini pratishtha la puja pratishtha vasana and material desires will just uh, all these branches will uh, just get uh, increase inside our heart ऑल दीज आर एक्चुअली ब्रांचेस दे विल ऑल गो इंक्रीजिंग डे बाई डे दे विल नॉट स्टॉप एट ऑल एंड श्री दैट्स वाई इट इज रिटर्न श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण भगवान श्री कृष्ण स्पीकिंग टू उद्धव जी महाराज दैट उद्धव वॉट विल हैपन दैट ऑल दीज ब्रांचेस विल जस्ट गो ऑन इंक्रीजिंग दैट्स वाई ऑल दोज प्योर गुरु वैष्णव साधुस वॉट दे आर डूइंग एक्चुअली दोज साधुज दैट्स वाई साधु संग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट That uh, by just taking the Hari Katha from the in the association of sadhus, automatically uh, uh, just to uh, just to neglect the dusang. If we are just doing a sang of a pure sadhu, then under their guidance, under the guidance of pure sadhus, pure pure Vaishnav, all the dirtiness of our heart will just get vanquished. and all those material desires will 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 get uh, and we will just get on to the lotus feet of krishna tato dusang musij satsu sajjit buddhiman shanto eva satchinnanti manam pyasangam utti koi labh nahi hoga there will will be no profit because all those material desires la puja pratishtha that this will go on increasing and you will not get uh, eternal benefit the whatever uh, whatever weak points are there inside us whatever weak points are there inside our heart hum log ka zindagi mein jitna sare whatever weak points are there inside our heart jitna sare log that uh, we want just what popularity kishte taro basuna ye sab rahega that will definitely stay with us shaithilya means uh, pesh, laziness alsi ho ya so get lazy is shaithilya bhakti ka raste mein and in the in the pathway of bhakti jo pragati hai whatever our uh, uh, improvement in the way of the bhakti iska that will that will uh, be that just going against that we will be having different kind of uh, uh, difficulties and barriers
in our actual bhakti in the way of actual bhakti what is the actual reason behind this what is the actual reason behind this? the how to get rectified how to rectify this situation then we can understand that that actually the whole reason for about, uh, around all this is dusang satsang is the sang the association what you are taking either this way or that way whatever is there the association is the main cause bhakti mnoh thakur shila bhakti mnoh thakur bhakti mnoh thakur as uh, just speaking in his updesh is giving us the updesh that that and uh, at the festival of harivasar tithi shila bhakti mnoh thakur bhakti mnoh thakur has given us updesh that at every harivasar festival it is very important to just uh, think at the fortnight at the previous 15 days what i have uh, just gone previously that what kind of uh, how much uh, how much improvement is there in our hari bhajan whether we have getting some improvement in there in hari bhajan or not bhakti mnoh thakur speaking this point that every they should have this uh, profit and loss system at how much improvement and decrement increment and decrement has come in your bhajan and unnati ka koi sawal nahi hai that there is actually no increment in your bhajan where it is always a decrement in your hari bhajan so who is actually uh, the main culprit for that the all the shastrik persons all the shastrakar has told this that actually who is actually the main culprit behind this that he is not getting increment in his bhajan he is actually getting a downfall in his bhajan to actually the dusang the asat sang is the main reason behind this main culprit behind this that we are doing asat sang so whatever uh, arrangements we are just making for uh, just getting rid of the asat sang the tu sang that chishtha that arrangements what we are making if you have that inside your heart that you should uh, to that you have you want to avoid as asat sang then automatically our heart whatever the anarth is there inside our heart it will automatically go in order to get rid of dusham there will be one uh, pratigya inside or that no i will not do a satsang at that time what whatever kind of anarth rashi is there inside your heart remaining present inside your heart then at that time automatically it will get uh, you will get rid of that it will not stay in your heart the that is a satsang only जो श्लोक देके शुरुआत किया है सो द श्लोक व्हिच स्टार्टेड विद श्रीमद् भागवत जी महापुराण इज फ्रॉम श्रीमद् भागवत जी महापुराण यहां बताया गया है हियर इट इज रिटन जो समस्त व्यक्ति जो सब ऑल दोस पर्संस ऑल दोस जीवाज एक्चुअली दोस हु हैव अविश्रांत रूप से काम क्रोध दे हैव काम क्रोध लोभ मोह स्नेह different kinds of uh, they just they are just making different different uh, uh, aspects to have a darshan of that brahma vastu and uh, with the with the sakya with the sakya vritti always wanted to just make it on the lotus feet of krishna actually they are actually they just uh, get the benefit of uh, taking the lotus feet of krishna in their life those persons who are actually continuously kaam krodh lo mo mat mat sar all they are making it con- getting it controlled by just uh, by continuously doing uh, hari bhajan under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav jo samast vyakti avishant roop mein apna kaam apna krodh apna bhay apna sneha all these kind of sneha kaam krodh lo whatever it is there they are actually they are just uh, actually actually uh, re- re- realizing that uh, with oneness with that uh, aprakrit brahm brahm vastu 
and they are just get realizing that sakya bhav and all those bhavas in relation with bhagwan and they are just directing it towards bhagwan definitely uh, one day or the other he will get to the he will be getting in the poyo uh, trance of remembrance in hari bhajan and, and uh, with continuous hari chintan inside his heart he will just get rid of all the tutsang uh, dusang that is the actual rule all those kaam krodh lobh sneha actually he is directing everything continuously onto the lotus feet of krishna and he is getting that realization uh, onto lotus feet of krishna he is actually just directing it towards shri hari and he is actually just uh, uh, directing it towards hari that uh, definitely he will get uh, uh, stability in the hari bhajan one day or the other he is just become get that feeling of oneness inside his heart of this there is no doubt about it when we have that uh, material mind and material body is there and material uh, mind is there then uh, to get oneness with the supreme lord is not at all impossible because our intellect is material our body is material in this situation matter with matter matter is uh, just uh, getting association with matter so matter is becoming matter is associating with matter so it is possible the first shlok which i have already told about shila rup goswami pad shila rup goswami pad actually speaking i have already speaking about this shlok from very long time the first shlok what rup goswami pad speaking in upadesh amrit pad actually want to Uh, tell uh, what who is actually Goswami? He is actually explaining who can become acharya. Who is actually acharya? What are the characteristic of Goswami and or an acharya? And those who are actually servant of uh, these material sense organs, and who and who is that person who can just get victory over all these material sense organs and can get the acharya path of that Goswami? that day i was just uh, uh, discussing about uh, devahuti ji the mother of uh, kapil ji muni they were uh, devahuti actually bhagwan kapil ji ka samne in front of kapil bhagwan kapil he she is actually just uh, uh, talking about what is there inside his heart mera ashant asat all my material sense organs all are actually asat all are temporary and they are uh, always uh, demanding they are actually or uh, thirsty for uh, even each and single 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 in the single material single sense organs are just getting thirsty just to take more and more yes they want to get that thing more and more more and more they just want that they just want that so in this manner whatever the thirst is there i have uh, given a lot of uh, series of uh, Uh, efforts i have just made so that that thirst of my sense organs can go away but it has not vanquished that my asat indriya actually so much trishna so much thirst is there uh, there inside se- each and every single uh, sense organ but still these uh, their uh, nature is very bad they just want uh, want to make my situation more worse they are actually uh, i have just respected them these materials and supplied everything to them whenever they asked but now you see the, so this is the situation of me, me today i am just uh, i have just fell down in the ocean of darkness i am just getting into the darkness of agyan you just only have to save me now so to get uh, uh, alternative of thirst of these material sense organs so, so whatever you will just give it uh, to the material sense organ in order to maintain them 
that bhog was not that enjoying mood will that fire fire of enjoying mood will definitely go on increasing that will go on increasing like a fire that show us a little bit of that will go on increasing like fire day by day it will just increase it will be like just like that kaam vas and that material dies and a lust that our sense organs all you are just giving like a shabd sparsh everything taste uh, touch everything all these five things you are just giving it to your material sense organs it will just go on increasing and uh, what are the actual symptoms of goswami i have already have just uh, explained that and what and in the pathway of bhakti in the pathway of bhakti what what all problems you will have to face in when you are in contact with bhakti when you are on the pathway of that actual pure bhakti because prabodhan and saraswati ko swami pad has already written about this point इन दिस श्लोका इट इज रिटन भक्ति बात करो रो करो वो दैट मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ थॉन्स आर देयर इन द वे ऑफ द पाथवे ऑफ भक्ति दे आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थॉन्स दे आर इन द पाथवे ऑफ भक्ति एंड डेफिनेटली इट विल जस्ट गेट स्ट्रक इन आवर फीट एंड वी विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्ट्रेस एंड पेन in our feet because these kind of thorns are different kind of impediments in the way of our bhajan so guru ko swami pad has already told about these in second shlok has just discussed about this atyahar prayasascha prajalpo niyamagraha jano sangancha lullancha sharobhir bhakti vinash प्रयासहार then he he has already spoken about udropast vek so what do you mean by atyahar now in this small book in one word to just make use of that word with 2 to 10 times that is not possible it is not fair in a small book to discuss about that so in the here actually having a same meaning atyahar means literal meaning means atyahar literal meaning means that what is a literal meaning a literal meaning is that is to take more food but in the first shlok we have already discussed about this point that about taking more food and those who are actually greedy persons they having just greed of that tongue is there so in this small book there is if there is repetition of the same word that is not possible so what is the atyahar means i have already discussed previously that in every object you are just collecting it that is atyahar you are just collecting that object more than your capacity whatever object whether it is money whether it is land property or whether where any enjoying uh, object material object is there if you are just uh, collecting it more and more you are getting the desire inside you to get more and more or uh, more than your capacity then sanchay then that definitely means atyahar it is just like a is just like a whatever object uh, you are having Uh, you are just getting just want to collect it more and more that is not at all good that is actually called uh, material vishay you are just collecting it uh, it's just written about the material vishay that is called atyahar prayas matlab prayas means 
that according to the uh, will of uh, supreme lord whatever efforts you are just doing in the way of your bhajan that is not at all bad normal pratishtha normal effort should be there prayasascha means prayas means why it is written it is written here because because whatever in normal efforts you are just giving by the will of supreme lord that i have to give more and more efforts that is called prayas that i will do this i will do that which has no link with bhakti i will do that i will do that so that he is actually making one effort and then again just breaking that and again he is making another and then breaking that that is called prayas efforts okay money actually is uh, to get money is okay but just to uh, get excessive money then hari bhajan will just uh, get off the line of the track so that is called prayas to do bhagavad bhajan in a normal way what our guru varg have shown us in that pathway we will we will follow that that is actually bhajan but actually we are not getting uh, bhajan we are just we are just want to get 10 mats or 20 mats we have to build that it has no connection with bhakti at all we just have to do bhandara there so it has no connection with the relation with bhakti at all previously i have discussed uh, that that externally it is uh, looking like that prabhupad uh, prabhupad has done wrong because prabhupad was not told that uh, you don't need to make any math mandir so prabhupad has done a mistake that he has made so much math godiya math because body god uh, prabhupad actually has just made uh, under the guidance of 64 limbs of bhakti prabhupad actually he is actually eternal parshad of radharani Prabhupada actually has 64 limbs of bhakti has at has established in this whole world has just made 64 under the guidance of limbs of bhakti 64 limbs of bhakti he is may he has made 64 gauriya mat and and out of that chaitanya mat is one and it is actually in chaitanya mat the, the manobist of uh, gorang mahaprabhu is uh, going all the time and the sankirtan yagna in shri vasangan and everywhere all the time that chesta that effort is going on for the chaitanya mat chaitanya manobist purti so prabhupad actually has made lot of mat gorya mat and bhakti no tha ko told that don't make any Uh, mat so it is a wrong thing that prabhupad has made mat that is not a fault of prabhupad no not at all externally we are finding that he has just uh, prabhupad has not followed the upadesh of bhakti mr thakur but because prabhupad is not a ordinary man he is actually that is not possible for an ordinary person it is applicable for an ordinary person this what bhakti mr thakur told but but to become a guru or oh, he has to just make his uh, efforts for those bhandara and all those math mandir externally in external way he'll be just giving all that external attraction which which will uh, just give him more popularity will get more pratishtha from more people and uh, he will not get the actual bhajan because we, this is actually a weak point because everyone is not bhakti mr thakur every person is not bhakti because bhakti mr thakur has written so much kirtan and so much books he has just uh, done lot of things but still bhakti vinod thakur nobody when bhakti vinod thakur will not get any disadvantage why because he is bhakti vinod thakur he is eternal parshad similarly prabhupad also has like this but bhakti vinod thakur has just written this point for normal persons those who are not pratishthit in actual hari bhajan they those who have not got the actual kripa of gorang manopur if they will do math mandi then they will just uh, uh will be going into that it all this land property also comes in uh, prayas pratishtha that efforts it will come all in their individual efforts what do you mean prajalp prajalp what do you mean by prajalp prajalp those who are actually no those who are actually hearing hari katha and sankirtan of uh, they are not at all hearing sankirtan and hari katha and they are just uh, busy in all those material katha 
of this material world and which has no connection with the Bhagwan. They are actually just discussing discussing about those material uh, objects together. That is called prajal. That is all all rubbish talks of this material world. That is called prajal. All foolish talks. What you are doing of this material world is called prajal. I can give you example of Niyamagra. Previously, yesterday I have given. Niyamagra, what do you mean by Niyamagra? Those who are actually going over their Adhikar. And Niyamagra means, it can be meant like that also, like Gurudev. Like Gurudev has given uh, this uh, Adesh to me that I have to do this duty. But previously I, wa- I was doing something else. But now actually I want to do, if I will do Guru Seva then I can get everything. But, but according to me it's like that what I was doing before, that actually also I have to do. That is also called Niyamagra. I am just giving one example of Niyamagra here. I have given the example already previously yesterday in the yesterday Katha that those who are actually are getting more and more entangled in the rules there is that uh, uh, Bhavan Hari Katha is going on and there is one uh, Aarti can get late at that time because to hear Hari Katha is the biggest Aarti but that Pujari actually is uh, forcefully is just doing uh, Aarti forcefully in my time also there is actually Katha going on but because uh, forcefully he is actually just uh, opened the uh, Pujari thus opened the door so they actually haven't understand the Siddhant Vijar of Madhav Goswami Maharaj and Prabhupada they are thinking that all these uh, rules regulation actually going on they are the topmost so uh, sometimes uh, uh, person individuals they also actually just uh, thinking in a different way I am just sharing you one experience regarding this that I actually went to one place and they said that you just have to hear, just have to speak Harikatha. And I just started speaking Harikatha. And I just uh, s- done all the Sankhyanam and 18,000 shlokas of Bhagavatam. All actually is going, everything is going on. And at the same time, and in the morning, 7 to 9, I am just uh, speaking, speaking Harikatha. And 7 to 9 uh, in the evening, I am speaking Harikatha two times. And if there is some Avirva Tirubhav or I am just someone has called me in some important place. There actually I am going and I am speaking Harikatha. I am just coming back. I am not eating anything. So this kind of rules regulations are going on in my life. So what happened? By the by taking the Vichardhar of Gorang Mahaprabhu and Srimad Bhagavata Mahaprabhu. But actually they are just pressurizing me. They were actually speaking that that our Gurudev actually used to speak that uh, always used to speak Gajendra Moksha so you also do Gajendra Moksha he was actually pre- all pressurizing me that I am their actually servant and they are pressurizing me that uh, you actually do Gajendra Moksha because Guruji always used to speak okay Guruji used to speak Gajendra Moksha but I am also at the lotus feet of Gurudev so I actually am here to just speak Harikatha so actually what the vichar uh, what is the actual vichar what is best for you that i will do if i will do gajendra moksh or in the niyam seva that i have to do yam kirtan because gurudev also used to do so what do you mean by yam kirtan actually you what do you mean by yam kirtan you will not understand yam kirtan keshav goswami maharaj uh, always used to speak that they can't even understand a single word of yam kirtan and uh, just uh, give them Harikatha and just uh, they should hear uh, words of Prabhupada and definitely they will get their maturity in Bhakti and automatically they will uh, understand the Yam Kirtan then. The, uh, we have to do Yam Kirtan 100% if Harikatha will go to hell, no worries, we just have to do Yam Kirtan. We have to do Gajendra Moks only, what is this? They is actually, they actually don't understand what is actually Gurudev. They are actually going near Magra. Actually, Gurudev told, okay, Gurudev told. But to hear Bhagavad Katha from the mouth of pure Guru Vaishnav is more important. Whatever the, so what is the point uh, in that? We have to discuss those points. So all this comes in the category of near Magra. 
just to give more attention to the rules and regulations still hari katha going on but they just opened the temple gate and just uh, uh, dhoom dam all all puja puja and archan dev are showing externally what the prad they have done bhagwan will definitely has given them the result of that what aparad they have done now they understand that yes we have done aparad actually so that false ego if it is there then uh, you can't serve guru vishnu and you cannot uh, hear from the lotus mount of guru vishnu at that time so atyahar is gone prayaschar ba prajalpa niyamagraha is also gone and now jan sang what is jan sang jan sang is a very big thing especially in our bonded state especially in the bonded state Uh, for those paramhans vaishnav it is no nothing this song has. those who are actually paramhans uh, pure vaishnavs it is nothing for them but jan sang is very big thing for those bonded soul because wherever you will go you will definitely get jan sang and uh, just to if you will just uh, uh, do the actual vichar of the jan sang like the vichar of bhakti vinod thakur we have to take that bhakti vinod thakur has told that uh, to do sang sang karna kisi ka sang kisi to do sang of uh, any vishay any external uh, materialistic vishay because bounded soul will not be staying without any sang because all those uh, sadhu sang because those but if they will just take uh, sadhu sang association of a sadhu that is actually called a positive sang that will not uh, be that will be positive for them very advantageous that is actual sang for them association of sadhu that is good for bonded souls but but for the but for bonded soul that sang of materialistic vishay is very very dangerous bhakti mr thakur speaking it is natural for all the jeevas to do sang for association without association jeevas cannot stay whether they are doing satsang or whether they are doing asatsang they have to do association without association they can't live if externally they are not doing any association oh maharaj is not doing any association. so actually he is doing mentally mental association so because that association is going on nisang is that that why hari katha kirtan you are just uh, getting into that fixed in that association like our kapil ji maharaj like kapil ji maharaj i uh, just just telling to devahuti speaking to devahuti mother mother devahuti that sansadir hai to asas bhi to kiya sango jo sansadir that sang by which uh, we just get rid of our our bondage become more and more that kind of actually sang is going actually going on nowadays then uh, he will get more tight bondage in this materialistic vishay uh, bondage will not get rid of but that bondage will become more and more tighter so that is called a satsang uh, glorification of a satsang but uh, to speak of satsang uh, we have uh, learned a lot heard a lot from from the shastras also narad ji maharaj also speaking about uh, the satsang that sadhu sang is infallible sadhu sang will not go in waste it is infallible that will not go in vain at all that is the actual fruit of sadhu sang you will definitely get because sadhu narad ji actually speaking इन द भक्ति सूत्र महत संग इज वेरी रेयर एंड इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू गेट और एंड अगर मिला भी एंड इफ वी कैन गेट दैट ऑल्सो बट वी कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज एक्चुअली सत्संग दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल अगम्य If to enter, so if we want to go, where to go? Agamya, it is said that if we are getting sadhu sang by kripa of Krishna only, anyhow, still we cannot understand. We cannot have that idea that that I can't understand that in which state 
दिस साधु संग इज कमिंग टू मी दैट इन विच स्टेट इट इट इज अ सत्संग फॉर मी दैट ओके एक्चुअली वॉट इट इज देयर इन इट नथिंग इज देयर बट एक्चुअली इट वॉज सत्संग आई कैन कोड एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट्स वाई सत्संग इज दैट इज वेरी रेयर एंड एट द सेम टाइम I mean, it is quite. It is actually a gem. It is quite impossible to the area of satsang. Satsang ka area me. To get into the entry of satsang is very, very uh, rare. It's very next to impossible like that. And if some, and if in any state, if he just uh, get into the satsang, and he can just uh, inside his heart can realize that that is satsang, that it is not a satsang, then definitely. he will getting that uh, a satsang that is actually infallible that will not go in vain at all so so lot of there are a glorification of satsang we are actually just uh, thinking of that but we haven't in the name of a satsang we are doing a satsang then bhakti mr thakur speaking and what to do in the name of satsang if a satsang will be done and in the name of a satsang we are doing satsang and if we just uh, take a satsang and just leave satsang then will be very dangerous and the sad and the we are thinking sadhu as a sadhu and also a sadhu as sadhu both the situations are very dangerous so bhakti mr thakur speaking that a sang when it when association uh, happens when we are just uh, when some priti is ju- we are just exchanging it when there is priti vinimay between the objects i will just discuss it in updesh amrit later when there is exchange of priti between the two that is called uh, sang with priti when you are just exchanging there is some with some attachment you are actually at getting attached you are just getting you are just uh, what is when jan sang is very very uh, dangerous by just doing jan jan sang every each and every person will go very very far away from bhajan pure bhajan they have already have gone from uh, very far away from pure bhajan like gor kishor das baba ji maharaj has already told that to prabhupad that you don't do any jad jad sang prabhupad actually speaking that i actually haven't i haven't uh, have that ruchi inside my heart to do jad sang i don't have the attachment to do jad sang because the baba ji maharaj has given me so topmost sang topmost aprakrit sang of that aprakrit golok so topmost sang he has given me now i don't want to do any kind of sang with anyone so who will i associate with externally actually i am going to math mandir actually all people are coming here in the math but uh, all those sadhus are actually doing their association or else they are just giving their association to them just have this uh, thinking in your mind like madhav ko swami ma tirth ko swami maharaj they are actually associating with those people or those who are coming in the temple math or those uh, uh, giving their topmost association to them and uh, just uh, they are just uh, uh, pick, uh, they are just uh, p- uh, picking up their realization power what is the right thing prabhupad actually speaking that i am not going anywhere to do association i am actually in the vaikunth prangan of gaudiya math i am just speaking hari katha there i am so that my mangal will also be there and all the other people who are hearing that hari katha will also get happiness blissfulness so i have no ruchi i have no interest to do their association at all it means that all those uh, big big sadhus who are they actually if they go for preaching then that is okay because when they will go for preaching then definitely they will give their topmost uh, sang association to those those to those bonded souls and those those bonded soul will uh, get up from their uh, consciousness and if uh, the dropped conscious bad jeeva is just going to go for preaching then whatever ac dc and beautiful ladies and just taking puri kachori ras malai they are and uh, by taking aloo champ or murbara all they will just take nice nice things and they will just be g- taking their association of this matter of those material things so this this is the naturality of a material 
so mamat so this is a so it is prohibited for the bonded soul to go to preaching foreign countries of far distant place but still no preaching should be done in the math as well for those bonded soul so if they are doing harikatha kirtan because that will come in the sadhana bhakti so uh, when they are just doing it in a group but when he is actually going to do pravachan in front of someone in feel preach in someone someone that is actually totally prohibited because he is in his bonded condition so those who are actually doing the, the uh, sang association of those mahajans but those who are actually mad they actually in the name of preaching are like monkeys they are just jumping in the preaching field and pre- in going to preaching they are just just going and they are just getting right nice nice women they are no they will be associating with very beautiful women there they will be getting that that's why they are going to preaching there are two three stories i'll just uh, tell you then only you can understand then only you can understand this point in devanand gaudiyamar shila vaman goswami maharaj and uh, other brahmacharis actually just uh, or maybe sanyasi may be there i don't know but they all went for preaching and uh, while when they went to preaching vaman goswami maharaj has uh, by just cleaning his hand and feet he is just uh, came to the room and just sitting there at that time what happened uh, in the air of vaman goswami maharaj that some brahmachari actually as just uh, spe- speaking to some mata ji that bhabhi ji he he is speaking to some mata ji he is actually it comes in the air of baba vaman goswami and vaman goswami maharaj actually just asked that brahmachari to come immediately to in in front of him why actually ma'am you actually just pack your bag and go you can go away from here you go back to mat you don't uh, stay here he actually could didn't understand why i will actually just uh, tell you later you just go from here now vaman goswami maharaj speaking he actually packed his bag and just went to the mat return one time what happened one brahmachari actually he is actually bonded soul but still he is actually save is doing seva he actually is not a mukta purush he is actually just giving him some seva but actually actually is not that seva he actually was doing one kirtan one gaudiya kirtan he was doing kripa bindu diya this kirtan he was actually doing that kirtan he is that bonded soul only actually you just rectify me he is actually reciting that uh, kirtan in the different way wrong way and immediately actually vaman goswami maharaj speaking okay you stop kirtan don't do kirtan because other people will think in a negative way that uh, because uh, he is uh, speaking uh, like a foul word that kirtan so who will actually understand all these uh, uh, important points those who will be in the leading uh, pathway of that preaching if he is a bonded soul not a mahashe then everything will uh, go in a opposite direction the preaching party will also go in hell as well as the same by others will also go in hell or it time it happens a lot of time uh, they went to the preaching and brahmachari has done a, such a bad thing that all those persons actually has given this woman that all those parties actually just went to kill that person and they just ran from that place that brahmachari just ran away from that place otherwise they must have killed him so to go in preaching this chand sang jad sang i am actually why speaking so much story to you that jad sang is so much dangerous that you can't even imagine that if you will not understand this jad sang then it is very difficult in an should pure guru vaishnav don't do jad sang at all they are actually just giving their own association to the all those bonded souls so that they can be protected from this material bondage so prabhupad speaking that i am not doing any jad sang and if they are coming uh, 10 20 people are coming to hear hari katha and after hari katha they are actually coming to me and they are having some question regarding uh, hari bhajan then that will not come in jad sang they are actually come in uh, question that i have this question i have actually some question regarding in my heart that please uh, rectify that so at that point whatever the answer i am actually giving that is actually called jad sang maybe there are 20 people maybe there are 10 people that is not a problem jad sang actually means 
जड संग कैन बी कॉल्ड वैन वी हैव अ वीक पॉइंट इन साइड अवर हार्ट देर इज एक्चुअली वीकनेस इन अवर हार्ट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वीकनेस इन अवर हार्ट वी आर एक्चुअली द अदर मटीरियल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड क्वालिटीज ऑफ द अदर पर्सन और अट्रैक्शन और सम अदर ऑपलुएंसिस वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स दैट एंड वी आर जस्ट आफ्टर अट्रैक्शन टू दैट दैट करेक्टरिस्टिक एंड क्वालिटीज ऑफ दैट पर्सन इज कमिंग इन टू अस दैट इज कॉल्ड जड़ संग इट कम्स इन जड़ संग एंड वेन अवर हार्ट इज वेरी चंचल इज गोइंग हाइदर एंड हाइदर वे दैट वन पर्सन एक्चुअली गोइंग टू प्रीचिंग वन ब्रह्मचारी ओ माई कॉट एक्चुअली आई वॉज देयर अप इन द रूम इन पीसफुली इन लोनली एंड देर इज वन गिरधारी पंडा वॉज देयर एंड वेन आई जस्ट सॉ दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग आई एक्चुअली जस्ट वेंट ऑफ फ्रॉम दैट दैट प्लेस टू वृंदावन ओ सो बैड थिंग एक्चुअली आई कॉन्ट एक्सप्लेन दैट सो दिस इज दिस प्रीचिंग इज दिस प्रीचिंग कैन यू स्पीक इट इज प्रीचिंग प्रीचिंग एक्चुअली मीन्स दैट टू गेट ओवर फ्लोइंग कृपा फ्रॉम दो टॉप मोस्ट एसोसिएशन फ्रॉम गुरु वैष्णव सो दैट वी कैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दैट प्रचार एक्चुअली मीन्स प्रीचिंग मीन्स वॉट कृपा वी हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट दैट दैट करोना वी हैव टू जस्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इफ आई डोंट हैव एनी थिंग हाउ वॉट आई कैन प्रीच वाई शुड आई गो टू प्रीचिंग that propad actually used to spin that there will be th- thousand mridangs you can just break it and destroy it nothing will be done if you are just playing it i am not speaking propad speaking in this kind of preaching party if you are just playing thousands of mridangs like this nothing will happen you just destroy it propad actually used to ch- jokingly speak इन बंगाली प्रभुपाद यूज टू स्पीक नैना नैना बोले तारा बेस ऑफ ब्रह्मचारी एंड दे आर डूंग कीर्तन आह सो नाइस कीर्तन फुलिश नंबर वन इज दिस कीर्तन वॉट दे आर डूंग they are actually uh, beast they are actually more than beast propa is speaking this point they are actually like uh, beast animals jungle mein rehta they are just living in jungle they are just making a party of uh, kirtan just grouping and they are just doing kirtan like beast how they are doing kirtan that all those uh, with all those knives and all you have to just uh, go in the jungle with the knife and all those cutters where it is very important in the jungle to cut the trees so that you can cut the bushes that is called kaste they are like just melting that kaste they are just making it kartal so for their own benefit <laughs> so that in this choking mood prabhupad used to speak so how they are actually just destroying the respect of that prabhupad sampraday how to just uh, uh, how we can just uh, maintain that respect of the prabhupad sampraday i am not actually uh, uh, to just need to protect that prabhupad sampraday i am not uh, here to just uh, tell you that to increment that uh, respect of prabhupad sampraday at least you have to maintain that so jansang i have just uh, jadsang i have just explained a little and those who have the chanchalta in their heart and the material mind is going higher and higher way what they will go in uh, what they will do in uh, uh, and went to preaching what they will do there if one or two bonded soul if uh, gurudev has just uh, given they are actually is not doing any not uh, doing anything wrong but uh, it is the the if the guruji has taken him to the preaching party then all those bonded soul should be under his control to uh, bonded soul should not be going to the uh, preaching party but at least madhyam adhikari can go but if some bonded soul has gone in the preaching party but he has to just be under the guidance of the exalted soul sadguru 
and he should be going according to the teachings of that uh, sadguru whatever will do whatever guruji will speak we have to follow that otherwise if a bonded soul will go to preaching then everything he will get disturbed because there is chanchalta in his material mind he actually is greedy of all the materialistic um, uh, desires he has that lust for material desires that is why it is called lawlust that lawlust means greediness there is chit chanchalness that your material mind is going higher and higher way unstable mind that is actually in the way of uh, bhakti is uh, a thorn in the way of uh, hari bhakti Prabhupada speaking that yes it is a way thorn in the way of hari bhajan what Prabhupada Pra- Prabodhana Saraswati already told this point in this shloka these are actually all thorns in the way of hari bhajan that if I will just uh, uh, in detail when I will explain then you can understand how deep uh, Bhakti Mnur Thakur has just uh, made so nice uh, explanation on that but we don't have any time now to explain if I have the time I am definitely going to explain all this and I will go in forward and I will just describe this by Kripa Guru Vaishnava so Chit Chanchalya you know always anxiety there for material lust always have chanchal bhav lot of material desires who oh, here they are actually our material mind is gone because we need some support in our mind in order to get uh, rid of this chanchalta we need some support i'll just uh, speak one story you will just uh, be very happy to hear this i have actually uh, seen very uh, long way ago i was actually used to do parikrama in the jungle and just uh, used to speak hari katha sometimes and sometimes in one temple i was just going and someone has just given me the right to just speak hari katha i was actually not doing any mon i am actually not silent in parikrama i was uh, just speaking hari katha or sometimes and at the same time in the whole uh, parikrama i was just remain silent lot of grasth actually used to come there and uh, all their wife their child every everyone will come in the parikrama okay then i have seen one thing that one has so much chanchal bhav inside his heart what to do this kind of chanchalta she can just make any accident she can make any time and uh, I have just uh, heard in uh, I have just uh, learned this thing in my young young uh, time that when you are you are your brake is fail while driving I have already learned that that how to control your car if your if the brake is fail then how to stop that car I have already learned that this technique this technology so in order to stop that car if the brake is already failed so how to stop the car so it is very difficult to stop the car if the car is in top gear then how to stop that the real rules at that time is if there is one big tree or something then you should just may uh, you just uh, you just uh, do one thing you just uh, make your car placed in front of a big tree or something so that the car can stop at least and the other technique is if you have the time then only you can do because everyone can't do that technique what you will do you if it is in top gear the car then secondly you just need to make sure that it should come in the starting gear Bill, all the car should come immediately in the down gear and you just need to stop and you just need to make the race at the top gear that is called the technology so if it is uh, the car comes in the first gear and the race i am just increasing it then automatically the uh, car will just uh, be making some noise and will just stop so if someone has some chit chanchalta in his he is for yes and if some mahapurush or sadhu is there then he know the actual technology how to control it oh he has that chanchalta in his mind that how to maintain how to control that in order to control that not to stop that it is not a normal thing so actually he what he will do 
he will be just giving more uh, sympathy towards them De- uh, definitely his behavior and everything will get uh, uh, changed like madhav goswami maharaj has already have shown this point to us like a person he has got so much calm inside his heart so much angry ni attitude inside his mind that every person is speaking oh maharaj just tell him to go from the mud but maharaj ji has that uh, technique that uh, he is giving you so much loveful attitude towards that all his beastful attitude uh, attitude has just gone from assam from every different place lot of people have just come in place in front of badav goswami just by his sweet behavior so sadhu sadhu sant have this uh, technology in them that whosoever have some chanchal bhav inside their heart that by any how they will just be uh, just uh, changing their heart okay by if if you want to do some accident then okay you can do it on me because there will be no uh, disadvantage in that because if he will if his heart his heart he, actually his man vague will just go towards the diverted towards the pure guru vishnu so it will be uh, maintained so that in order to get uh, control over this chanchal bhav there is only one way that is to get uh, the association of the pure guru vishnu if we, if we are just getting the pure association of pure guru vishnu then definitely his uh, all chanchalta will go away and his chanchalta will uh, definitely finish <coughs> one one day there is only one way and this is this so all this kind of six kind of vegas <coughs> लॉट ऑफ they are just uh, uh, just uh, collecting lot of money is not the target of our love because to uh, collect lot of money what will happen that we will just uh, disrespect a uh, pure guru vaishnav we will get that behavior inside our heart maybe he is a very poor beggar before but now he has become acharya he has crores of rupees but he is actually now thinking all pure guru vaishnav has cats and dogs so that is very dangerous prabhupada actually speaking this point so no don't collect at all uh, more and more money that is not the target of her uh, life because that will uh, uh, we will definitely disrespect the pure guru vaishnav in this krishna is merciful <coughs> but krishna is not uh, blind krishna is not uh, is not a beggar whatever we need definitely krishna will provide to us why you are actually uh, going be- be- behind that so if in the name of math mandir you are actually taking money from other that is also atyahar if someone actually in the name of sickness he is actually taking different kind of medicines and just uh, taking if uh, this happens and i will do this if the if all this happen prabhupada actually speaking that if sanyasi brahmachari will not take medicine on their own this is the rules and regulation of godia matter i actually given the book it's already ready just uh, i just want to print that book so what is the uh, what is the rules and regulation for grastvari what is the rule, rule regulation of a uh, uh, sanyasi brahmachari but uh, by his own will he can't take any medicine from outside who so very i can't even speak in front of you this point so strange this is that uh, i have one in jagannath mandir my harikatha was just going on and ek din what happened one day one homeopathic doctor one homeopathic doctor he is a very famous doctor he actually just uh, he just paid dandavat to me and he was just uh, speaking to me two four points and i was just speaking the answer and he was actually speaking that uh, all those brahmachari of uh, brahmachari actually they are eating these medicine i was very surprised that i have 
all my confidence on guru vishnu just got destroyed all the, actually these brahmacharis are taking this medicine and they have just and he just come to me and he is just speaking to me that he just give this medicine to me then i told that why you are taking this medicine oh my god he actually have got all the confidence destroyed on guru vishnu so prabhupad actually speaking that all brahmachari sanyasi by their own will they should not take the medicine on their own the in charge that if he is a madman then it is very difficult for that nowadays but that in charge that responsible person should uh, you have to just uh, tell him the problem and uh, from the mat only they will the medication will be done from the mat only that is the vichar of prabhupad so if we are just uh, taking uh, different different kind of medicine that is also called atyaha and if we want uh, nice clothes and we are very attracted to clothes different clothes then what i am doing he is a brahmachari he is people are giving him money he is actually just taking different different kind of nice clothes and uh, that all comes in atyahar that comes in the category of atyahar whatever is there so i don't have this much time to speak this much in detail but bhakti no thakur actually uh, what rup goswami path uh, has uh, told in upadesh amrit bhakti no thakur bhakti no thakur is actually called rupanugvarayate he is uh, always used to dandvat like this then definitely he is actually he has that he is not different from rup goswami path bhakti no thakur ji actually has just uh, this the shloka of this has already given the summary of this upadesh amrit <coughs> he has just discovered the language of this shloka so that we can get more benefit out of this because bhakti no thakur ji has just uh, with the very careful mood has just uh, uh, seen our standard and in order to maintain uh, uh, that standard so that we can understand this bhakti no thakur has just uh, explained this to us so like goswami lo goswami all the shadow goswamis has done different kind of shastras they have just uh, take the manthan of all different shastra and given us in front of us like rasamrit sindhu bhagat bhagavat amrit all different kind of uh, granth and shastras they have given us so that is good so bhakti no thakur given us jayav dharma and jay, that is the actual summary of all the shad goswami's books so it's very strange to understand this point different kind of shastra they have just uh, manthan it from the ocean of the, all the shastras and those who are actually uh, very less in their uh, mind for them they are actually giving this shastras so bhakti no thakur in bengali uh, bengali language he has written definitely you will understand this bhakti no thakur has written bengali bengali bhakti no thakur speaking that when atyahar prayas prajalp jansang lolya niyamagraha all everything will come in our life then definitely our bhakti will get destroyed our bhakti will not stay it will not get fixed it will get definitely get destroyed if all this will come in our life if it will be there then definitely our bhakti will get destroyed everything will get destroyed everything will get destroyed in the second line also you can understand this point those who are actually grahatyagi those who have already uh, just uh, uh uh given up everything from from or from their life why they will just have uh, in their own name they will in the bank account they will be collecting money why they are just collecting that bhakti no thakur speaking if actually bhakti no thakur we will just uh, go against bhakti no thakur then we are actually insulting bhakti no thakur if each and every brahmachari sanyasi have the different bank account they everything is destroyed now so much money they have so bhakti no thakur speaking 
दोज हु आर एक्चुअली हैव जस्ट लेफ्ट दे आर एवरीथिंग एंड दे हैव जस्ट सरेंडर्ड ऑन टू लोटस फ्रूट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव एम भगवान देन वाई एक्चुअली दे आर जस्ट कलेक्टिंग नाउ भक्ति नो ठाकुर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड अत्याहार इफ ऑल दोज पर्सन हु हैव लेफ्ट एवरीथिंग कलेक्टिंग एवरीथिंग मनी एंड ऑल देन इट इज कम्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ अत्याहार एंड दोज हु आर कलेक्टिंग एक्स्ट्रा जस्ट मेकिंग एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट्स टू मेक मनी दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अत्याहार और इफ ही इज अ गृहस्थी डिवोटी If Vaishnav is in ग्रस्त then if Vaishnav is in ग्रस्ती you also have to take the lotus feet of of his life or from his lotus feet. He is actually त्यागी और he is actually ग्रस्त Vaishnav can be in any category. Whether it will it can be in the ग्रस्त आश्रम as well as well in the uh, renounced renounced or the rebel. So now we can understand this point. That those grehi vest vyaktis, those who are already in the grasta ashram, Mahaprabhu has told <coughs> that Mahaprabhu has already told this from his whole lotus mouth. What Mahaprabhu told that those that that is a grast vyakti who uh, to to collect something. it is important for them so how they will actually maintain their family their relatives how they will maintain that for grast people it is important to collect money and everything but but if the grast devotee if they are just taking the straight license and just making billions of money and they are just taking different different kind of land property that is not the thing what mahaprabhu told okay collection of for grast bhakti is approved by bhagwan because there is no greediness or something he for just to maintain his family and relatives he is actually just taking that that is not a problem for that but if but in the, in that case he is just going with on different different kind of land property and different kind of money for greediness of money that will definitely become atyahar so bhakti mr thakur has just given us a clear conception about this that for a grah tyagi vyasti this is actually comes in the category of atyahar and uh, and uh, when he is just uh, collecting those grastis who are actually just uh, collecting more than uh, sufficient money for them that is all uh, rubbish all garbage they all garbage char is is all garbage but mahaprabhu has already told this point grihastho hai le eva eve chahe mahaprabhu ne bataya grihastho hai le eve chahiye sanchay फूंक देना मीन्स ही इज जस्ट गिविंग इट टू सम anywhere whether he is a gambler or whether he is a drunkard <coughs> whatever whatever money comes he has just uh, given away all the money because he is a grast vyakti actually he has to uh, have some money he has to collect some money so that's why in the case of vasudev gosh mahaprabhu speaking that uh, if he is a grast devotee then he has to collect some money so how he can maintain his relatives and his uh, wife and child and she is also speaking to shivanand that actually whatever the income he is getting mahaprabhu actually speaking uh, to uh, giving instruction to shivanand that whatever uh, actually what he is actually udar he is actually mad whatever uh, money is coming he is actually giving it away he is not uh, uh, taking uh, collecting any money so what uh, you what is the whatever the income whatever the income uh, he has you just make a uh, make note of that whatever money is coming to him whatever money is going out from him he because he is mad he actually not making any uh, uh, head and tail of that so mahaprabhu actually speaking here that okay it is important this uh, collection of money is uh, important but it does not mean okay now we can collect crores of money we can just do black money and we can just do gamble or something like that no no that is not at all allowed bhakti mr thakur has also prohibited that so bhakti mr thakur also told here
वेरी नाइसली ब्यूटिफुली भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर एक्चुअली जस्ट जस्ट स्पीकिंग दिस वो आई हैव अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ भक्ति ठाकुर आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड दिस दोज पीपल हु आर विच हैव नो कनेक्शन विद हरी भजन दैट विश एक्चुअली इन गोइंग इन दैट विश दैट एक्सेसिव एफर्ट इन दैट टूवर्ड्स दैट मटीरियल थिंग दैट विल और दैट इज नॉट भक्ति अनुकूल विच इज नॉट गुड फॉर भक्ति ऑल दोज एफर्ट्स एक्चुअली भक्ति देखो कितना बना है सो सो नाइस एक्चुअली भक्ति ठाकुर है टोल जस्ट बी केयरफुल एंड जस्ट बी अटेंशन ऑन ऑन दिस पॉइंट और भक्ति में ठाकुर इज स्पीकिंग बिकॉज इफ यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड बट स्टिल यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई हैव टोल्ड प्रयास प्रजल्पो जनसंगो लोल्लादि नियाग्रह होइले होने से भक्ति इफ लोल्ल सतना सो जाता देन भक्ति विल गेट डिस्टॉर्ड जनेर संचय अत्याहार and when those person were collecting more than excessive efforts of collecting more, then they are actually not at all Vaishnav. They are just uh, collecting money. At that is. Then Prabhu uh, Bhakti Mohan Thakur actually speaking. If it is not at anukulya for Bhakti to give them excessive carefulness and efforts on that, that is called prayas. You are actually just uh, collecting too much. That will actually uh, drown us in the material ocean. Those who are actually opposite to Hari Katha, which is called Brahma Katha, material talkings. Mahaprabhu already told this one. This Gram Katha, it comes in Gram Katha. I just uh, learned one story. <coughs> Shila Bhakti Vala Tirth Ko Swami Maharaj, while in the preaching party in Dehradun, he was uh, there, and uh, in that actually preaching is going on. All Hari Katha Kirtan actually is very famous of Maharaj, and uh, and the uh, afternoon time, one what happened? That Maharaj actually came out. Some brahmacharya sannyasi is required, and he actually just asked of some brahmacharya sannyasi, and he actually comes out of his own room. And where does Maharaj go? And where that brahmacharya has gone? With a very humble mood, Maharaj speaking. And some people, some person actually just speaking that he may be some sevak. I don't know actually because it's a very long back history. I haven't seen it also. Where actually you gone? All the temple is empty. From where they have gone from this preaching party? Then one person. Actually, there is a final of cricket match. They have gone. Cricket final. They have gone. Gone to watch. Why? You just uh, pack my luggage. I am going. Actually, they went to see cricket final. It comes in drama katha. Whether you are seeing cricket final, semi final, or cricket final. Or whether it's World Cup or football, it all comes in Gram Katha category of Gram Katha. They are actually just uh, discussing of uh, one thing, and they are actually want to marriage him. This is all kind of material Katha, material Katha going on. Those uh, actually who are just uh, not uh, have any connection with the uh, bhakti and no uh, Hari Bhajan is connected with that is called Gram Katha. and motir chanchal when our heart is just my material mind is uh, chanchal is unstable and to just uh, make it stable it is very difficult motir chanchal lo lollo asat trishnamaya man agar chanchal if our heart is unstable then it will become asat trishnamaya so all those material people all those yashit sanghi All those actually are asat sangi. 
दोज हु आर एक्चुअली चंचल हैव अनस्टेबिलिटी इन देयर हार्ट एंड दे आर हैव लोल्य असत कृष्णा जो ऑल द साधक दे कैन जस्ट पुट इन इन द ओशन ऑफ डिस्ट्रेस दे विल जस्ट पुट दैम इन हेल्थ ग्रीडीनेस ऑल दिस यशित संग आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट यशित संगी एज वेल प्रीवियसली हु आर एक्चुअली यशित संगी आई डोंट हैव द टाइम टू स्पीक वन टिंग बट स्टिल आई विल स्पीक टूमारो these all actually very uh, negative for bhakti it is all asatsang mayavad dharmadvaji then they are just taking the flag of dharma in their hand they are just having which showing that they are a big acharya they are just uh, sitting in a big room and just ask them something then you can understand what they are at what level they are it is all drama going on all their smartness like a crow everything is going on sant maharaj actually used to speak if some chanchal sanyasi comes in the math and he is actually paying dandwa to the maharaj maharaj actually just by seeing can understand who is he actually he is actually chanchal unstable his heart is unstable actually he is saying that maharaj speaking actually i will stay in your math for 3 days he said maharaj speaking okay you can just stay but today actually you has to speak about mitten and tat today <laughs> no worries you can stay in math oh you can i can stay in 2 uh, to 3 days for a month okay you can stay in our mat oh, from where you have come what's your name everything maharaj has understood already actually today you have to speak about nitanand tat uh, maharaj actually actually i don't have time i have to i have to go to some place okay i am going ah okay okay you just take prasadam and go ha huh? okay okay <laughs> if some person came maharaj you just to keep on me you just uh, to keep on me so that he know that the, without the kripa of maharaj his life is going he is actually making foolish but what you need actually maharaj speaking actually i want sanyas from you ha okay okay you come for sanyas come come actually maharaj knows his character and behavior what it is ha you can come come i am there to give you sanyas only come come you come today only immediately then he said uh, already he understand that maharaj become angry because maharaj knows his character yeah yeah i am here to do sa- give sanyas to you only come come i'll give sanyas to you foolish number 1 aisa maafi maharaj ka behavior so this is the behavior of maharaj sant go swami maharaj so all these mayavadi dharmadvaji is maharaj ji ne ek maharaj ji actually one time with a very uh, distressful mood actually today is agarbati thi of maharaj actually we used to love maharaj ji maharaj to actually i am foolish number 1 very foolish but still i used to love maharaj ji and maharaj ji actually speaking with distressful heart that today is a very big uh, festival and uh, all the vaishnavas are coming to do give kipa to me and actually those who have become sadhu actually they are not coming to us why they are not coming and i have this news that uh, in uh, they have that they have just passed by this uh, behla and they haven't can't they come for to me for just 5 minutes why he hasn't come to five for me because they were very afraid to meet them to me meet maharaj ji ma because they were very afraid of maharaj ji they actually went from that place but still they haven't uh, uh, done any dandwa to maharaj because maharaj ji got the news from that that maharaj ji uh, become very distressful unhappy and he actually just went from behla only and just haven't met me so you see so unhappy he become after that and our vagnas go swami maharaj you see the bhav what is the difference in that you see what is the difference between the two if one uh, devotee he is actually going from brahmapuram vagnas go swami maharaj used to live in brahmapuram actually used to live in brahmapuram amma pua brahmapuram i actually went a lot of time there 
by the krip of krishna thakur ji i just went there it's a south india border i just went to speak harikatha there if some uh, devotee actually without uh, information he actually going to south india through brahmapuram whether madhav goswami maharaj whether bharti maharaj whosoever he is then maharaj ji wa- wa- then he become very happy actually they haven't given me any news because uh, uh, maharaj ji actually used to just make prasadam from his own hand and used to take it for the vaishnav to the station because he is such a big raj pandit you see how how much merciful how much humble mood he has such a big pandit in our family it is very much difficult to get like vaikunas goswami maharaj wherever you will go whatever point of shastra he will with humble mood will speak actually will humble mood he actually speak actually nobody without my uh, without uh, without calling me they all went because they will just make prasadam from his own hand and just uh, will give it to all to the disciple of madhav goswami maharaj bharti maharaj he will give the prasadam to them and in the night time 3 o'clock also they will just give idli dosa everything will to all chutney to them and you see you see the inside of their heart i am just speaking this why because you can see the in depth analysis of this you see the in depth bhav what is the difference of the bhav in this what is the bhav of maharaj that i have to go to maharaj i have to give pranami to them then maharaj ji will actually speak uh, bad thing and good things then i don't have any time okay <laughs> if you don't have time then maya vedi will just make your chutney definitely maya devi will definitely today or tomorrow we will make your time maharaj ji actually didn't speak anything at that time like our trikram maharaj ji was living in shri chatane gaudiamat why actually he used to bless me so much i don't know there is a lot of story behind that actually he is niskapat sadhu our trikram maharaj ji actually used to love everyone but those who are those actually who are kapat then maharaj become very uh, angry if we don't have any character or qualities in us then okay no worries maharaj ji will very loveful mood he will just uh, tell but there are a lot of stories actually what maharaj ji has told me that is become a hidden treasure for me actual treasure for me like nayanand das baba ji maharaj what a lot of things he has told about his life story to me trivikram baba he has told me a lot of things about his life and shri giri maharaj shri lasant ko swami maharaj all has done kripa on me have just told me lot of stories and this is become the topmost treasure in my life now and what i'm speaking now that trivikram maharaj ji was used to live in third floor of shri chatan chatanya gaudi mart satish mukherji road and i am very grateful to him that whatever books i have written actually all done by by the kripa of bhakti vilas tithu sai madhav goswami maharaj because they used to give me accommodation in the mart and there actually i used to take only two chapatis in control manner everything is controlled by uh, and everything i used to uh, go to the press and mostly i used to stay there and they have just given me all the nourishment and accommodation to me i am very much thankful to them and uh, trivikram maharaj ji there is one uh, advantage for me that uh, i was you do sang of uh, shila bharti maharaj shila bhakti bola tirth was sang and trivikram was sang maharaj and uh, big big vaishnav actually used to come in the mat and i used to uh, just uh, they used to bless me and i used to associate with them that is a big uh, advantage for me very useful for me otherwise my whole where i was uh, i will be going where i don't know it is actually keep of krishna trivikram maharaj ji actually kisi ko agar kapat if he is actually some kapat vyakti he become very angry full angry attitude he is, if he has some weak point okay no problem of those person who is a kapat one person what happened he is actually one uh, very tall figure maharaj actually came is actually preaching i will not speak his name actually he was actually going from that place and he uh, is speaking all dandavad maharaj and he is speaking actually he is kapat sanyasi he is number one kapat <laughs> he is actually paying dandavad to maharaj oh maharaj dandavad ah, okay okay and then maharaj speaking uh, he is speaking he is actually kapat 
फुलिश कपट नंबर वन कपट ये महाराज एक्चुअली यूज टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज टी विक्रम आई सो क्लेवर दैट ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू सी एंड इफ ही बिकम्स एंग्री ऑन समवन देन ही एक्चुअली यूज टू स्पीक ऑन हिज आचरण इन ढकाई बंगाली इन ढकाई बंगाली लैंग्वेज यूज टू स्पीक यू डोंट नो एक्चुअली आई नो हुम आई एम एंड समटाइम्स ही यूज टू स्पीक मंकी नोज द वैल्यूएशन ऑफ बनाना एंड एंड पिग ऑल नोज द वैल्यूएशन ऑफ स्टूल एंड यूरे यू ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक दिस पॉइंट लाइक यू आर एक्चुअली क्विटिंग भजन लिविंग भजन एंड जस्ट गोइंग लाइक बना लाइक मंकी यू आर गोइंग आफ्टर बनाना एंड लाइक पिग्स यू आर गोइंग बिहाइंड स्टूल एंड यूरेन सो हाउ यू कैन डू भजन सो यू सी हाउ भक्ति में ठाकुर वेरी नाइसली एंड ब्यूटिफुली जस्ट स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट आग्रह Just be careful. This is very in-depth point. Those who are not following those rules, I am Niyam Agra. I've already spoken about before. I have just told. Now, actually, the Vijaya Bhakti Mohan Thakur, you see, Bhakti Mohan Thakur speaking. That Niyam Agra. Those that all the rules and regulations, other shanch, achran, whatever the rules of Mat Mandir are there. not to follow those other chatran not to not to follow those rules and regulations of math mandir niyam agraha that means there is niyam agraha that not to take rules regulation and niyam agraha means there is lot of difference between two i will just define this tomorrow uh, in the next hari katha niyam agraha means those who are actually rules and regulations what guru varg and all acharya lok or pure guru vaishnav actually given us actually in his bhajan life he is not uh, accepting it this is called agraha not to accept niyam agraha means i already told that bhagavad katha is going on and he is actually just want about aarti he is just opening the curtain of the temple and just doing aarti that is niyam agraha and lot of niyam agraha i have already told niyam agraha and niyam agraha i will just uh, uh, give the full details in toto about uh, more in depth tomorrow and niyam agraha and niyam agraha all the both the two are very dangerous why because those fun is not to follow the rules and what the guru ji guru varg has told us that is not to follow a guru varg actually speaking actually i am doing this rule before a guru ji actually speaking now that you should do this that is actually niyam agrah that is very dangerous both of them are dangerous so to those who are actually um, arising the all kind of different doshas in in their bhakti life for those devo- devotees that will become like a hanging uh, hanging rope all these uh, of the two i will just uh, speak tomorrow and uh, today i will just uh, give a, i'll be doing vishram today because it's very in depth uh, and in depth uh, analysis of this uh, of these two words that whatever uh, you have to 
one is that you have don't uh, follow the rules and regulations of the shastra and the other one is not to follow the rules and regulations given by the guru version of we are actually saying oh this maharaj actually is doing this this maharaj is doing that so whatever rule regulations are given to you should do that i will definitely uh, speak this tomorrow uh, about this uh, short pravachan i am just giving rest to it so very uh, be merciful to me and forgive me पति थानंग पावन भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः